We're going to have Kyle Redder do a 60-second review, uh, or analysis, if you will, of A New Hope. Here's Kyle Redder. Hi, I'm Kyle Redder. <laughs> 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock, starting now. All right, so we start off. Crazy war going on. Leia's captured. Boom! Ah, go down to Luke. He's all emo and crying. Ah, my parents. Ah, I'm with my uncle and aunt. Ah. And then uh, he can't go to uh, the, get the power converters with all his friends. And he's super sad even more. Ah! Uh, then all of a sudden, uh, he finds the old Ben. Old Ben's crazy and weird. And then his family's dead. Oh, no! So he has to go and help old Ben. And so then he's just thrust into the crazy war between the Republic and the Empire. And it's horrible. And uh, he discovers the Force. All of a sudden he has this little magical ability and he can wear the shield. And he can fight uh, the little droid thing. He's shooting the little laser blasters at him. And then uh, he finds out that he can fly a fucking X-Wing. Whoa! When did that happen? Because he's never flown anything in his life, really. Uh, but then he ends up blowing up the Death Star. Uh, right after, of course, he finds out that uh, Darth Vader kills uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, his only friend in the world, apparently, even though he's never really like spent that much time with him. No! Ten seconds. That. Uh, and and uh, then we come to the end of the uh, movie where the Death Star is blown up and the life is happy. Oh, but Vader, he flies off in his little, uh, his little TIE fighter, all wobbly googly. Boom! That was, that was, that was all wobbly googly. <laughs> <laughs>